Join, join. Thank you for coming. Hello, good evening. This is Kato Rebu. Welcome to Kato Show. Please, if you are coming here for the first time or you've been watching but you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and um, put on your notification bell so when we when I come live, you'll be able to join me or when um, I upload. All right. Please, we're just waiting. For you to join let's wait for you to join hmm. we have to talk about this because it's so important very very important yes we may know your husband or your wife and all your biological siblings all right so we must talk about this marriage is not a must but if you must be married you must enjoy it yes you can choose to be single, but once you say, yes, I want to be married, yes, I do, then it's mandatory, it's compulsory that you enjoy it. Yes, so, it is so, it is compulsory, we enjoy it. Join, join, join. Join, guys. Let's join. Let's get this rolling. All right, let's get this the, the ball rolling. Let's get it rolling. Last week, I'm not sure if you watched the video, but if you didn't, if you were not here last week, please watch the video we did last week. Watch it, watch it, watch it. It's called Come, Let's Turn Your Tears to a Celebration Moment. That's the title of the one for last week. And this week, we are talking on how to be romantic even if you are old if you are married yeah how to be romantic even if you are old this is for married people not for everyone uh -huh. the singles this is not for you i restricted this video for only the married how to be romantic in let me put a marriage now a marriage because this is for only married people right? even if you are old yes i've adjusted that for only married people because now it's like the reverse the married people are the one being starved of romance are the one that have been starved of sex that was why in 2014 the highest searches on google in 2014 was what is love that was the highest search and i did a video on that in 2015 Titled marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured. You need to go and watch that as well, please. We must watch these videos and take, you know, action. Take action. We cannot pray and don't act. All right? You don't need God to come to your house to come and be doing romance with your wife. No. <laughs> or with your husband. No, there are things we have to do. I tell people. Christianity has become laziness. No, it's not. It has become foolishness. No, it's not. There are things that God has expected us to do and we are not doing them. He's expecting us to do them. When you tell God, oh, I need a wife or I need a child, you don't tell God after you, you give you a husband. You now come and ask God again, come on, you know, tell my, uh, come and remove my, carry me on top of my wife or come and show me how to kiss my wife, I want to do what I need to do to make my wife happy. You shouldn't be expecting that. If you don't know, you can learn. Alright? You can learn. You can ask questions. You can go for counseling. You can go and learn just the way we learn every other thing. We can go to uni to study. We can do a PhD, master's, every, do diploma, carry all the certificates on our head. But when it comes to marriage, which is the only institution ordained, the institution that is only ordained by God, we take it trivially. We, we treat it with so much disrespect. I don't care attitude. When you are dating, yes, you do everything to please your spouse. You do everything to make yourself look good. You really, you're really on top. You know what I mean? Then everybody around your spouse will be saying, oh, you're so lucky. I want someone like your spouse. But now in marriage, what is happening in marriage? What is happening in marriage? Especially our Christian, uh, Christian marriage. We that know know god so much you know the word of god you understand that god is not a man that he should lie you respect god why don't you respect god in your marriage you know when you say you fear god 
totality. This is really scary. Most people will say they are Christians on Sunday, but Monday in their office, they are demons. On Wednesday, those that are doing business, do business with them, they are frosters. You can't do that. If you are a child of God, I'm not saying you are I'm perfect, but God should reflect on everything I do. If you do business from with me, you will understand that honesty and transparency is, is a must. Excellent service is a must. Pastor, a pastor, one of our pastors, former pastors used to say, Pastor Day, we said that. He said that character is the only thing that you can take to heaven. Character. The little window open so there will be fresh air. The next thing is, is, is uh, this pulling that you see. And he was so close to the window now. <laughs> was sweating earlier. So join, 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 guys. Let's start. Let me close the window. Join, join, join. The doctor was saying that in London is one of the most polluted space or city in the United Kingdom. Can you imagine all this neighborhood we are living in? That the polling is so high. So, you guys should join. Join, let's start. Please. We can't be dying in silence. We cannot be expecting your partner to endure what they cannot endure. So let's start now. I wish I can connect it to Instagram. I have to learn. I wish I can connect it to Instagram. Yeah, second of the book. Yeah, I need to learn how to connect YouTube to Instagram. I was asking someone, but he hasn't told me how to do it. I don't... Please, I need someone to help me. As you're watching, if you know how... I can connect this video to Facebook and Instagram at the same time. Please let me know. Let me just share it now so they can connect there as well. Because this is so serious. Please, if you have joined, please subscribe and then put on your notification bell and just say hello. Thanks for joining. Thank you. We need to talk about this because this is beginning to be so frustrating for people. And also from where we have come from, there are certain things we cannot discuss with our spouse they rather go and say it outside to their fellow friends and complain oh my husband is not treating satisfying me uh, sexually oh the woman will say my wife my the man will say my wife is not mm, she's getting old now i need a young girl they don't talk about it among themselves to see how they can improve in their lifestyle in the in the romance in, in a romantic way how to be romantic to each other the fact that you are old doesn't and you're still married doesn't stop you from being romantic that's why you see people, one say I'm too old, the other one say I'm still ready. And before you know, they're going out to get a, 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 a lady, out, a girlfriend outside, or the woman going outside to have a boyfriend. So this is why we must talk about this, because the truth is that marriage outside of, sex outside of marriage is a sin. Alright? It's a sin and we must, you know, we must deal with that. And while you're a married person, don't frustrate your husband or your wife to go and do what they don't want to do and put them into sin. Alright? So let's ask them to join us on Facebook. Please join us now. This is serious. You must know that your wife and your husband, they are not your biological. Please share. When we talk about serious things like this, people are so much in a hurry. But when the problem comes, they will do fasting for 40 days. They will, they will you know, fast. They will pray. We can pray. But if we can use common sense, if we can use discerning spirit, if we can apply wisdom, most of the things we actually pray for, they are self-inflicted, honestly. The things we cause for ourselves, all right? Don't cause things for yourself and start praying about it after. Learn, be wise, okay? Be wise. The things you can prevent, prevent it. So the life is already stressful. What God gave to you as a gift, as a blessing for you to enjoy, you're not turning it to stress again. Are you for real? The Bible said, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor from God. It's a blessing. It's not a cause. But now, because we fail to do what we're supposed to do, at, either out of ignorance or out of foolishness or out of I don't care attitude, then that thing that God gave to you as a blessing is not becoming what? A problem. 
it becoming a problem becoming a big problem we need to communicate when they say communicate it's not just talking when you communicate you need to listen and you need to take action there are things you must implement for example let me say this simple one now if your spouse say my darling think your mouth you need to take more time to brush your mouth don't go and say oh you are so rude you say my mouth is smelly you start quarreling instead of you to say really mm, i didn't realize that and you start looking of at things you need to do to get it you don't just go and use the same thing you were doing before and think the smell will go no you need to now look for toothpaste you know herbal toothpaste that like eat more you buy mouth uh, wash make sure you get mouth wash after you brush use mouth wash to wash your mouth if you need to go and see a dentist you need to book an appointment you need to take time to look at your teeth open your mouth you know look at what is you know what is causing that mouth odor treat it I was reading an article last week. A lady said that on a date you went on a first date, the guy was cold. He talked. He liked. They liked each other and all that. But when he saw her off to the car, he said the guy was looking at him, looking at her somehow, and was quiet. You know, the guy took courage because he wanted to meet her again. But he told her he just someone courage to tell her about her breath, and that girl was not. She said she couldn't believe it. That the man just told her that her mouth, you know, her breath is a, a hard bottle. Oh my goodness. But she went looking for solution and treated it. And now she's fine. She's now sharing and helping other people. Sometimes, maybe when you don't brush before you sleep, that's why brushing before we go to bed is a must. But we know sometimes we just forget or you are walking and you walk later, you don't do it again. But it's a must. When you brush every night, it helps you. It, it saves you all these visits to dentists. To be honest if you stop all this chewing of uh, all those sweet sugary stuff taking too much of sugary drinks and you can brush every night before you sleep and learn how to buy itimo itimo is about two pounds something sometimes you, especially if you are getting older the body is not the same all right take that itimo to brush your teeth time to time if you know that it's really serious do like this <sighs> eh? close to your mouth and your nose you will know whether you have smell or ask someone Somebody tells you, don't be defensive, don't say, oh, you see, my husband is becoming so rude. He's telling me that my mouth smells, I don't blame him. But no, that's not the way you should do it. He's telling you because he, he wants to kiss you more. He wants to kiss you, and when he's kissing, you want to be really relaxed. You want to be relaxed, you want to enjoy it. Alright? Because people think that, oh, when you want intimacy with your spouse, it's only when you go to bed. You know, when it's night time, when it's, do you sleep on the bed, that's the time you kiss. That is old-fashioned. I call that one the red box, <laughs> the red boss. That's why I call it. You know, the red boss. When you don't stop over in Nigeria, when you're going to Onitsha <laughs> or you're going to Abuja, you take the bus and it just goes straight, no stopping. Just go. That is not, that's not interesting. You know, you do the red box. There are some, that, I don't get me wrong. There are times that you can have those, uh, uh, you know, can be a rose that you want to have intimacy with your partner. That's allowed. That's fine. Everybody knows what they want for them. You know, it doesn't stop you to do it. But what I'm saying is that you really want to get, enjoy yourself. You really want to get into the mood. Don't let mouth odor or your body smell. Some people don't know how to bath clean. You spend time to do 10 hours or 2 hours, not 10 hours, 1 hour, 2 hours to do your makeup. But when you are bathing, you are rushing. You don't even maybe on your phone, you are out, pour water on your head. No, sponge your body. Scrub your body very well. Use good soap, not detergent, or body wash. Bath clean. Look for good um, deodorants. Always buy your deodorants and use your deodorants. Have perfume, if you have perfume, use perfume as well. Try and buy perfume. You don't have to buy only designer. Don't say you don't have money to buy designer, so you don't have. Take care of yourself. Because a good aroma around you can trigger something. You never know. Oh my goodness. It can trigger something. I'm telling you. Even sometimes when people say, oh, I'm, I'm not I'm trying to be pregnant and it's not forthcoming. I want to tell you a secret now. Believe it or leave it. It's not scientifically proven. But I must tell you that when you are intimate with your partner and you're really enjoying it, right? It makes you to get to orgasm easily and also help fertilization to be really quick because you know what your body is in the mood is so relaxed it's so relaxed you really 
on top of yourself. You are not thinking, of, oh, let me do it to get pregnant. No. Make love to enjoy it. You will form the baby quicker. Don't be too much in a rush. I just gave someone a tip years ago, a sister-in-law then. She said, oh, she, she's been trying to be pregnant and she's not been able to. And I said to her, I said, you know what? Some people, when they stand up after they meet with their spouse, the sperm and the spermatozoa doesn't settle. So it doesn't, fertilization is not quick for some people because they are eggs, you know, they are not as fertile. Everybody's fertility level is different. You understand? There are some people, even as they are still in the mood, the baby are, <laughs> conception have taken place. Fertilization have taken place already. Where some people will take a couple of hours, some will take even some time, some days for some people on to click. And also how active your husband's sperm is. Sometimes the sperm are not swimming very fast. Oh, that reminds me when I was doing my IT. I'm sweating. I closed the window now because of this allergic reaction you know all those pollens from the window now i'm sweating mm? i'm sweating i know ac you see what we're going through here no ac no air conditioner only heater we have here and eh? when it's someone like this we suffer we need to start having an um an ac in this country so we put on like times like this yes this when i was doing my it in worry in roman medical laboratory i don't forget that laboratory that's where i've had my first hand medical experience god bless Dr. Omogbai, I don't know if he's still alive now. He used to work with Shell. And uh, God bless uh, Gabriel and uh, Bra, um, and jo what was his name? The other guy, Festus. Yes, two of them. And one other girl that came for apprenticeship as well. But those are the staff in that place. Gabriel and Festus. And Omogbai is the owner of the place. They said they don't pay and all that. They don't have to. I say yes, we don't mind. And they hired us as a youth, um, not youth service, um, as IT graduate uh, students. And you know what? Because of our commitment, our determination, the way we handle customers, the way we're working so hard as if it's a paid job, they have to tell the owner of the land, say, no, these girls, they are very serious. They're always very punctual. They're very hardworking. They are friendly. They are very helpful. And they started, <laughs> we started receiving salary. You know, so they put us on salary then. Thank God to them. And they were very nice people. Very nice people. Yes, what am I saying? When I was in that lab, guess what happened? There's a, a couple... They've been finding hard to give birth to children. So the wife said to the husband, my husband, sorry, my husband, please go and do some fertility tests. Hold on, please. I need to just say, I don't know. People subscribe. I put on a notification. So when I go live, these people, can you imagine? Can you imagine these people? When I'm live, instead of them, I've sent you to connect. You are to calling me. Even if I didn't send him the link now, I would say, okay, maybe he doesn't know. These things, I don't take it trivially. Oh. You don't get me upset, of, offended now. Can you not see that? Did you not see what I sent to you? Did you not see that I'm live? What kind of stupidity is this? Did you not see I'm live? I sent you something to join. You are you are coming to. You are calling me. I asked you to join the life. You are calling me. These are our people, eh? Please don't try it again, no. I don't take this trivial. I do, I don't really like this. If it's somebody that don't have my contact, it's different. Don't try it again. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't take it for granted. I don't take it slightly. Trivial. Sorry, guys. I have to even reduce the, the volume. I don't like that. Somebody on your contact, you send a video. They know where you're going. Like, even they don't know, you send them. They see the, your link. They see you are live and they are calling you. I'm on a live. I have to talk to my audience, not to you. All right? If you cannot join, then you stay where you are. Do what you're doing. Don't come and interrupt me, please. Thank you. So, as I was saying, the woman... Said the, said to the husband, my husband, please, can you go and do some fertility tests so we can know, you know, this problem, how to go ahead, how to go about it, rather. What am I, I'm tired. How to go about it because we really need a baby. The man looked at the wife and said, what's the matter with you? Me that give my girlfriend, <laughs> me that impregnated my girlfriend, <laughs> you know, these local men, they think they have right to have um, a mistress outside. And we're going to talk about it. And that's why this video 
topic today is very important because there is no need to have a mistress outside. If you know what to do as couples, you don't need extra. You don't. You won't even have the the energy. Even if it was allowed, you won't even have energy. How much more when it's the same? So you don't need it. So this woman said, "My husband, go and do this test, so we know how to resolve this problem that we're having." Because I've done everything. They have asked me to tell my husband to go and do this. Guess what? This man, typical your man. He said to the wife, "Please, please, please, just stop it. <laughs> stop it." I impregnated my girlfriend <laughs> of recent. And you are telling me you have to go and do fertility tests. That's what these girls are doing to all these married men. They will tell the man I'm pregnant and they will give them money to go and do abortion. Maybe pregnancy they don't even have, just to collect money. And now he's using that now to to defend and to run away from what the wife is advising him to do so that they can have their own children. He's claiming that he's fertile. Anyway, to cut the long story short, this man came to the lab to do his fertility test. Come and see. I was the one counting his spermatozoa. Mm, can you imagine? There's this uh, counter we use to count, right? Mm. For most people who are fertile, when you're counting, it's like this. Pam, 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 pam. It's so a lot. We count, that's your, we count the ones that have head, you know, and tail. You know, I think that's what we're used to. Okay, yes, the one that have head and, and tail will be swimming. Blah, blah, blah. Then some uh, just a little part of it, so very dull. You, you don't see the whole part, you just don't count it. So you can't do once you can see the head and the tail, they are moving. You can't. Pam, pam, pam. When this man on came, mm, you do like this, you have to pray a lot's prayer and sing the national anthem. Before you see another one, you press. What am I saying? The man is in fetal. It's not fetal. He doesn't have enough spermatozoa. The, sperma, so the ones even have, they are so weak. So if they are so weak and he's not producing enough sperm, meaning that because the sperm is in the sperm, that's where the spermatozoa are in. It's where you produce more sperm, then you have a more spermatozoa, isn't it? Not? And you know, when fertilization takes place, it's a race. <laughs> it's the first race of humanity. This life is not easy. Everything in life is a race. So when the man releases the sperm and the woman is in the ovulate is ovulating, what happens is that the sperm matches where we swim, right? They will race. They will be running and running to the to fertilize the egg. The first one that gets there fertilizes the egg is the winner. That's why you say, Oh, my test is positive. If the sperm cannot swim fast. So get there and they die on the way. That means no luck for that month. You understand? That's why it's so foolish of some men that abuse their wife. Oh, it's only girls you give birth to. One of our distant uncles, uh, Nanny, a uh, house up years ago. The husband actually left her. Immediately they said, oh, your wife gave birth. Go to the hospital so that he gave birth to another girl. He, this man left this woman right in the hospital there. Whereas, if only he knew that he's the one that has the X and the Y chromosomes in him. He is the one that can produce a male or a female. Give the, get the option of releasing X to produce a female or releasing, or releasing Y to produce a male. Because a woman only has the X chromosomes. You, the man, you have the X and the Y. So, if you are a man watching this video and you are the one that is pressing your wife, complaining, Oh, my wife is only having girls. Listen, you need to mind yourself. You need to really mind yourself because your wife only has what S chromosomes. She doesn't have a choice to detect a man or woman for you. And it's only God that gives children anyway. But you, the man, you are the one that have X and Y chromosomes. You need to go and find that there was a a circle count that people we, we talked about years ago that I was seeing and telling people to do, rather. I told people to do, and some of them, it worked for them. I don't practice that. I just tell God what I want and I get them. But the people have to do that part counting. I just told God, I want two boys. After my two boys, I want twins. And that's the way I go there. I didn't do the counting. But some people have a way they count it. But all I will tell you is this. If you want different styles of baby, start doing different styles. <laughs> start doing different styles. Stop doing only direct boss one style all the time. If you do different styles, you will get different sex of babies. Please, this is not medically <laughs> correct, okay? But at least try something different. That's what I mean. All right? If you know that you are doing it direct and you're having girls, 
or direct and you're having both then do something different do the other way around you know give your partner different styles and see what you will have next time when you when fertilization takes place you might have the opposite of what you had before instead of fighting yourself and saying oh there's only woman you are having or it's only my need this sex it doesn't work all that okay you should thank god for the one you have but if you really want to have another say pray all right pray and also do different styles you never know <laughs> you might be lucky all right or go and find out any medical you know advice you have to have the sex that you want you know everything has solution the one you don't have you know you have tried but don't be silly because sometimes silliness don't make people to enjoy their marriage okay let's go to the topic how you can be romantic in marriage even if you are old what is for you to ensure that your personal hygiene is on top all right whether the man or the woman because sometimes people are being selfish in marriage the man will say the woman have to be this the woman man will say no it doesn't matter with me no 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 both of you need to be clean I don't know how people are dirty and they say they want to have intimacy. That's sweetness. Women body, we are very sensitive. So women are going in and out of hospital for one treatment or the other for STD. Not because they are going about with men, but because their spouse, you know, their partner is not clean. Women body is very sensitive, guys. Your hands, as a man, before you near your wife to do it, go and wash your hands. We are not men, we are women. Our body is very sensitive. Microorganisms, they grow easily in our body because it's, it's nourished. <laughs> yes, it's so nutritious. So please, you must wash your hands. Keep your hands clean. Bath, take a bath. So that your wife can also be very romantic with you as well. Because when you're sweaty or your body, you've carried all through the night, that's what you want to carry the next day. You are not helping your twice. Don't say it doesn't matter. Remember, your wife owns your body and you own your wife's body. So what they want, how they want your body to be, for them to enjoy it, something you must listen to. Except you are foolish. Yes. People will say, okay, why are you saying this now? Even in the Bible, God says that there's foolishness. People face reality. You know, these days people just want to say things the way they are not. Say it the way it is. If you have a wife and you're not enjoying your wife, you have a husband and you're not enjoying your wife, it's foolishness. Because marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured. Alright? You have to enjoy your wife and your husband. Learn how to watch something together. You can't be busy all the time. Foolishness. Another foolishness again. You are busy 24-7. Uh -uh, what is it? What, what are you looking for? You don't have time to sit down together and play. When last you are a man now, when last did you carry your wife? When ma you woman, when last did you sit on your husband's lap and your husband sit there, you know, carried you? And you just wear a top with no bra and feel comfortable with your wife. Just talk and talk and relax and play with each other. From there it can lead to something else. <laughs> Look at that. Some of them I will say, Kate is so spoiled. Are you not spoiled? <laughs> if you don't want to be spoiled, you can stay in your mother's house. We have a choice, isn't it? I told you last week. I was in university when I broke my virginity. I have a choice not to break it and keep it for life, isn't it? Yes. So, please, we need to be serious, right? Your husband or your wife, why they can play bo a brotherly and sisterly role to you as you, as uh, in marriage, but you must know that they are not your biological siblings, okay? Marriage is a total package. So your wife can be your, you be your wife, your sister, your friend, your business partner, everything in one. Fantastic, yeah. Your husband can be your husband, your friend, your boyfriend, your daddy. You know, he can play father, fatherly role to you. But it's not for you to come and be looking at treating your your husband as your father. Some people say their husband is daddy. You know. For me, I believe that you need to give yourself romantic names to make you know that, listen, this thing is it's not a father and child relationship. Some call their husband baby, but I don't like that one, baby, because my husband is my baby. But at least give romantic names that will make you know that, mm, you know, some people prefer to call each other by their names. If that's what you're used to, fine, but I'm, I'm used to calling romantic names. 
because I was born at the peak of romance. My mom and my dad, they came together because they were in love. And that's why they gave birth to my brother, gave birth to my other sister, then gave birth to me, right? My half sister first, then they gave birth to me. So you need to know why you are in marriage. Are you there to do business or are you there to get the total package, which is to love, to care, to romance, to be friendly, to be, to have a companion. There's a research I was reading earlier, you know, that some people actually got married because they were lonely. So only what they want in that marriage is just companionship. So meaning that they don't need intimacy, they don't need any other thing, they don't want to play with you, you're not their friend. They just want somebody to be in the house so that they can talk to someone. That's where it ends. Really? Oh, when I saw that, I was like, whoa, this is calm. <laughs> somebody getting married to you just because they will just need you to chat with them because they can be bored that's all nothing else no friendship no no intimacy no business discussion not it's a total thing any challenge you have anything you want to talk about something you're not sure of something you need help with the husband should be your best friend honestly your wife should be your best friend nobody else should take that space i don't care how good how close you and that person is your husband must be your number one your best friend nothing hidden open open book that's what you should be with each other if you're truly sincere and genuine with each other but you can see it's not always like that there's a book you're working on now watch out for that book that's an exclusive coming again all these books that we are writing are triumph in the midst of adversity they are explosive devices so when people get to movie theater and watch these things Oh my goodness, people will come out with tissues so crying and people, in fact, you will not believe it. We can't wait for these books to get into the movie. Room. This is not a book. If you read, if you, please make sure you get it at pre-order. So you get the ebook at pre-order and make sure when the paperback comes out, buy this book. Please, you need to start reading and building your, your portfolio from, of marriage. So you know what is done in marriage that you want to enjoy and marriage that is you want to endure so you can decide and also know whether marriage is for you or not because a lot of people are just messing around and they call it marriage imagine if uh, eight families from a reliable source their children went to uni and immediately they went into uni they went their separate ways that tells me that they were just commanding their children they were not in love and they were not romantic mates and they are not in it in in any in, in any intimate relationship when you live with your husband as if he's your brother or yourself or your flatmate it's a sin to me because that is not marriage you're just playing with someone's emotion you're just wasting someone's time people get married because they just want children no you don't get married because you're old enough to have children and you must know that marriage is not for everyone if you are the type that you are happier and alone and you don't want to be with someone you prefer to be alone all the time please don't say I want to get married because you've seen people wearing suits and wearing wedding gowns. You want to wear a wedding gown. If you're so hungry for a wedding gown, you can go and have a try. You can go and test one in a shop and take picture with it and go home. If that is all you wanted marriage for, to go and wear a wedding gown and dance, then after that, you don't even know what to do. Most girls, they will look really nice, look after themselves when they are dating. When you get married now, come and see. You will not believe it's the same girl you used to see. That is not married now. The woman, the man will be looking at you like, according to basket man, basket man says a scam. <laughs> no, he said that you have to do police checkpoint to be checking us that we we trick all the men. <laughs> that guy is something else, basket man. The day I will see him, eh? me and him, I'm sure we'll fight on the. If I see him on the road, I must beat him up that day. All the yabbies, yabby women. I'm joking, oh, basket man. You are a great uh, comedian. All right. Oh, it's like all the stress all these women gave to him when they didn't have any money. <laughs> they didn't agree to follow him. It's just, you know, it's revenge now. It's, it's a revenge time for him. So, my dear, if you are old, you can still be romantic with your wife, your man or a woman. Look for something that both of you love and do it together. That is part of romance. All right maybe it's just you know your hair that your husband wants to help you touch or do you know losing it with you. or anything that you both of you like find that you did together when you were young you enjoyed don't forget it because age is now coming 
all right please this is very important most of the time we get we date and we are so vibrant we love ourselves but when work come oh we have one child they said oh, because of the children please it's not because of the children it's because you lack wisdom while life can become busy with children if you know that marriage is the one that brought the children you will not throw your marriage away because children came that's the fact children should be able to fit into your routine not taking your marriage away sometimes you see people get married they say they don't want to have a child until one year two years i actually said to myself if i knew what i saw in marriage that i would have done the same <laughs> what i saw in marriage after children yeah i would have actually done the same maybe i would have said you know what let me stay two three years first before children come really yes i know of a colleague who got married at, at, say no two years break and a husband they said no, no child first let them have fun let them enjoy themselves because when children come it looks as if life has ended i remember when i used to fly with virgin i wanted to go to hawaii i wanted to go to, i wanted to tell the world but because i now have a child and my husband is not the type that want to be traveling and I just asked myself, could I just carry a child to, to be flying all over the place on my own? If I want to go and we, if I want to go to the bathroom, I'll leave the child there. But you know, you know, sometimes you just want to run to shop and come back. You know, you can't do it. It wasn't fun for me at all. It was much later I just realized, you know what, Kate? What I would have just done was just to do a visa for my house and we'll be traveling all over the world. That's what I would have done. It never occurred to me because I was thinking that it will soon create time. It will soon create time. That's like you will soon it will soon happen. And I ended up not touring the world. When I could do that for, for less, for free rather. Because all I needed to do was to pay tax. Richard Branson. Sir Richard Branson. Oh, I salute you. You are the best employer, I'm telling you. All we need to do is to carry your bag and your travel, your border flight. Because you're going to pay just tax. Okay? If it's the uh, zero zero one. But if you want to buy the confirmed one, it's still very cheap. When well, you don't need to go and queue up and wait. It's still very cheap as a staff. Very cheap. We pay very cheap to travel. But I didn't use, enjoy that because of marriage. I thought I would have toured all over the world within a year or two. But I was there for five years. I keep just coming to London, you know, my dear, we need to know that getting married does not stop people from being themselves. When you get married to someone, before you get married, know what the person like, know the activities they like and start getting yourself involved somehow, involved somehow rather, yeah, try to, because the fact that my husband love, um, Maybe now nah, for me, I love. I used to love table tennis, but now I don't play tennis. See, I've forgotten. Now I love to swim, right? And I love dancing. I'm not dancing here, but I love dancing. I really need that everybody no smoking. You know, you know, don't play music that swear and curse, but where you can dance. I really love to have something like that. I love to dance. Okay? So now I swim, for example, swimming. If I have a spouse that say, oh, I don't swim. If you don't swim, you don't like what about you, are not a banji. <laughs> You should be able to say, Kate, I will come with you. All right? I don't really like water so much. Because you love water, I will come with you. I love it. I love to swim. I love to play water with my, with my husband. I never had that. I've never been able to enjoy that. So I'm looking forward to that. All right? Maybe sit in the jacuzzi, in the pool, with your husband. When you go to the gym, if you don't have one at home. I said, I don't have one at home. I do that in the gym or swim. You understand? You play with your husband. You play. You need to learn how to play with your husband. If you don't play with someone, how do you develop friendship? Some people, the only thing they talk about is bills. That's when they talk with their spouse, about the children. That's all. Talk about us. Have time to go out. Go to a restaurant with your spouse. You don't have to be rich to enjoy your life. If it's, if it's five pounds you have, yeah, even if it's only five pounds you have, you can still take your spouse out in this country, even in this hard time that prices are. If you don't know, I will tell you now. Okay, if it's five pounds you have and you don't know how to go out, right? You don't you think money is stopping you with five pounds, your husband and wife, you can go out. Let me tell you now, go to KC Spice. All right, their meat pie is one pound twenty or so. <laughs> then you buy malt. All right, two of you buy one meat pie, buy one malt. Sit down there, off of puff. Puff puff is 
one uh, five for a pound or thereabouts please don't make this excuse find time to sit down with your spouse and talk or go to the park park is free don't say oh we don't have money it's not money it's foolishness that make people not to enjoy marriage just foolishness if you have a wife husband you don't spend time with your spouse and your husband and you think you are married you're just deceiving yourself you're not married you have a flatmate or a housemate or a coal minder that's what you have please stop this all right that's why you see people they say oh this person said this uh, but my wife my wife is this it's because you don't your wife is not a wife eh? that's why you can believe any rubbish anybody tells you that is why because if you are into your wife or into your husband it will be hard for somebody to come and be telling some lies about your spouse and you believe them you buy their lies be friends be friends love each other that's how romance grow that's how you grow your relationship that's how you can build your relationship and be romantic all right be romantic i'm saying it a sister in church years ago said to me oh my husband used to kiss me in church and before you know it people will be asking each other oh is that not the wife is that the girlfriend or the wife oh my goodness african people african people please stop this kissing is not meant for the ones that are dating no it's meant for couples it's meant for husband and wife because from that kissing you can enter something else that is not allowed for single people yes you can just do peck for single people or just mm. but real kissing is for you husband and wife so when somebody kisses the wife just kiss in church and people are talking talking and before you know it the man stopped and the wife was telling me sister k do you know i really miss it my husband used to kiss me anyway so he just kiss me i really love you before you know church people started talking oh is that is that the girlfriend or the wife because they got married young you know early and now they feel that oh why are they kissing why would they not kiss when i was in an african church right it was only one couple i really saw that they were behaving like a couple most of them they don't even know who is their husband because you walk past your wife no you know there's a way you pass your spouse my dear you must know that mm, there's something you know connecting these two people there's no chemistry there's no connection Abba, you just see your wife as you just trivialize her as if you know she's a nobody i remember when i used to go to children's section to pick my children oh my god come and see this women there they'll be talking mm. i see the mother of these children wow mm. because they see me like a girl imagine i was looking that was how many years now about nine years ago you can imagine how i would be looking there and you see these women some of them were dressed as if they they gave birth to me then when i was celebrating my fourth year come and see how they were scared they didn't believe it those that were 35 this one's i'm 35 years old really 35 you're looking like this some i even thought was my mother's age bit that we my mother's age a woman testified that she celebrated her 50th birthday i was shocked 50 anyway some people they say they have nigerian age and they have western world age i don't have nigerian age and western world age i have my <laughs> primary school certificate there the age i am in this country is the age I'm, i am i am all over the world i don't have two age i have just one all right all these things they say nigeria adjust your age so that a job can employ you i tell myself any job that says my age is too much for them is the job is not for me i don't adjust my age my age is my age so what am i saying guys we must enjoy our marital life if you are married you must enjoy it if marriage is not for you please stay on your own just stay single it's not a sin god will not say come to hell because you are single you only god will only be offended when you are single and you are doing the things that the married people should be doing or you are doing the things you should not do that's where you have a case with god but for the fact that you can keep yourself right that's fine by god Marriage has never been a, a must. It has never been a must. But the part that is a must that I'm telling you today is that when you are married, you must enjoy it, people. You must enjoy marriage. Don't don't mar get married and frustrate your spouse. Emotional torture. That's what it leads to. When you are lonely in marriage, is what is an emotional torture, guys. It leads to emotional torture. All right. It leads. To emotional torture when you are married and you cannot be romantic with your spouse it's emotional torture it's emotional torture you should not do it 
the woman will rather be single and know that listen and it's when you are single you know you have space for someone to occupy it but when you are married it means that you've been taken and if you have been taken and no one is taking you that is emotional trauma yeah it's emotional trauma you cannot be single you cannot be married and be single rather you can't you cannot allow your wife to be married and be single is it that she's single you allow her to be single or you truly get married to her and let her enjoy your marital and marital life with you both of you to make it work not when one is making effort you are frustrating the effort of the other oh please i'm tired i'm just coming from work you stay in front of tv some of our men they will stay in front of tv for hours they don't have time to talk to their spouse they don't have even if you're watching the program don't hold some of them will hold remote they are the only one controlling the remote you can't respect tells you to ask your spouse what they would like to watch as well all right respect and if you know that your children are not in the house, you can watch something very nice and romantic and two of you can just from there and play as well. You know? Don't just look, oh, I want to watch my United game. I want to watch Chelsea. That's all you watch. I want to watch a, a sport. That's all you watch. All the sports, watch all the news. And your wife is not even following. You don't care. You, don't, you are not friends. Because if you have a visitor, don't you ask them what they would like to watch. It's respect. Don't be, don't be too complacent. People are so used to their spouse that they take them for granted. Very disrespectful. No, don't disrespect your spouse because, oh, I've married you now. I knew you when you were so young and so pretty. Now you're even getting older. What's up? I beg, where is she going? She's like, just treat her like a furniture. Don't do that. Don't do that at all. All right? All right? You must enjoy it. Be romantic. Be friendly. It's not a sin. Most people, Christianity now, they make it look as if you are a Christian, then you cannot be romantic. Oh, really? Oh, God, have mercy on you. You got married, but you say you are a Christian. If Christianity did not stop you from getting married, why on earth will Christianity not stop you from enjoying what marriage has given to you? Listen, you cannot go to the, go to the bank and say, oh, I need a check, I need money. They give you money. You start saying, no, I don't want. Huh? It's an open check. Marriage is an open check. When you were single, you were doing those when you do it when you are single. You remember how you do it. You have to arrange. You have to plan. Oh, when are you free? When are we meeting? This one you are meeting in the house every day. <laughs> you meet in the house every day. Go out somewhere. Relax. Go to the park. Take your man. Go and lay down in the park and just talk. Just reflect back about how you met about. You know how you what happened just talk about yourselves it's important we do that if you are not mentally settled right if you are not met, mentally healthy do you know you can be unproductive in life as well unsuccessful as couples yes it's a fact when people are not are not living a life a healthy life you cannot really have good inspirations good wisdom because it's somebody that have a relaxed and healthy life that can reflect and tap into wisdom easily that can take them to some, somewhere great if you are so clustered with the daily activities of life you don't have time to really relax with your spouse you know just take a nap with him or something that's why you know what may i say to god since how many years now say no a man that will be answering sir to someone, a man that will go and take permission from um, the boss before he can travel. I know that there are men that work for themselves and they still, they're just, they can't go travel. That's why you see my list now. That's part of them. A man that I know that we need to go on holiday. Because I know that some people are just workaholic. They don't have a life. Oh, please. I don't need a man like that. That's not life. Even if you have all the money on this earth, the money that can fill the whole of the United Kingdom, please go with your money. I don't need a man like that. Mm -mm. we must have a life a balanced life where you can be productive where you where money don't control you god did not allow give you money to control you you should control it you're working your work controls you everything controls you you don't have a life everything you snap you that's why you're not happy because you're not living a life you see some women you go outside you see they're looking at you 
make face. Why are you frowning your face? Who is fighting with you? I remember I went to a shop before. I bought some things and I dropped it at the counter. And uh, somebody was attending to me. Oh, they just came snapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that wasn't me that was a problem. She's not happy. You know, she's not happy. I dropped things at the counter to buy. I didn't know you were there. I didn't see you there. If you had something there, you left there. You know, that the guy was attending to. You just take it and say, sorry, can I pick? I have a cloth there. You don't need to be agitated. You see, this woman, they quarrel a lot because they are not happy. How do you know women that are not enjoying marriage? They are so grumpy. They're always grumpy. A man that is not enjoying marriage, they're always very grumpy and arrogant outside. You don't respect. If you have a man that is being taken care of at home, your wife is taking good care of you. They are very polite. They smile. <laughs> a woman that have, the husband know what she wants, you know. Please, anything that will stop you from enjoying your marriage, please take care of it and address it. If your weight is the problem, take off your weight. Because there are people who really want to enjoy, not because he's your husband now, that you want her to be, you want the man to be treating you like an old woman. No. You need to be flexible. If you are not flexible, your husband wants a flexible activity, then you need to go and lose some weight. You see what I mean? You can, you need, but if your weight is still allowing you to be flexible and your husband is happy with you, yeah, then give it to your husband the way you want it. And you, the husband, too, the thing, the way the woman wants it, do it. You can see that friendship will grow stronger. You will miss your spouse the most. When your spouse is leaving, say, oh, I'm traveling next week, honey. I'm traveling on next week, sweetheart. You'll be like, oh, my goodness. How long, please, can I come with you? You'll be looking forward to travel with him. But if you are not intimate, you are not friends, you don't really get along. It's just only about, oh, we pay bills, or oh, about the children's school fees. That's what you talk about. That's not marriage. So many people have so been so they couples they've been so used to themselves that that is all they talk about now there's no word of romance anymore they don't admire each other anymore please rekindle your relationship because that's not god's plan for marriage you must rekindle it don't say oh we've been in it case what are you talking about i bet forget all those things what are you what are you talking about are you viewable? listen romance is not meant for the white man it's meant for married couples but out of ignorance, out of foolishness, out of whatever it is, many of our people think that to be romantic or to have a relationship that is enjoyable is only for the single is a shame. So please, thanks for watching. And don't forget, watch out for the book, Marriage is to be enjoyed and not endure. All right? In that book, you'll be able to find out how you can say thank you to your spouse after intimacy all right because you need to know whether your spouse is satisfied or not you are not just faking it you have to be real you need to really be open and be just be in it all right you cannot be distracted you cannot be saying oh thinking about oh work or thinking about what you want to do and you are with your spouse that is not good thinking about something contract no forget about everything and just be within you and your spouse and have a different feeling and you will come back and say kate thank you what you said made sense you know that is why people are so angry your wife said something you have even head you flip blue i know there are some that demonic they have demonic demonic attack in their home that one is different when they have demonic attack when they they, uh, they, they cover their uh, veil on their wife or their husband that they now become a cat and rat that's not what i'm talking about no i'm talking about and even if that is the case, prayer together. Praying together will remove that veil too. That's why couples must pray together. There's nothing like saying that, oh, Christianity is a personal risk. All this one that we had in marriage. No. If you don't want to get that next, that's what I'm saying. It's the total package. You must pray together. You must learn how to eat together. Even if you don't want to eat together all the time, but find time to have dinner together with your spouse. Oh, we will see what happened in my book. You will only really know that some people marriage is not for them you know do something together like as you just said if it's swimming if it's what do your husband like look for what he likes that you can fit into as well go and do it with him for he said go out there with him even if you don't know what to do it just be around them be chatting with him or stay there with him you know two of you should do something together as i said 
you don't need to have so much money to enjoy marriage you need wisdom you need common sense all right that's what you need when you have wisdom you have common sense all right and you're ready to really play that you will truly enjoy your marriage please don't get married if you know you don't want these things don't get married just because oh the society we say oh i don't have a wife no get a wife because you really love to have a wife because you want relationship you want intimacy you want all everything that god spoke about when he talked about marriage so i want to say thank you and god bless you if you love this speech please leave underneath this video what you like stop messaging me on whatsapp telling me oh, okay this is really great click take it this video was nice this is what i learned from it thank you okay put it underneath this video so that youtube will know and other people that are watching will know what you learn from it and i myself will know Sending on on youtube on whatsapp does not tell youtube that this video is needed all right god bless you and bye bye thank you and bye